How's it going everyone? My name is Hugh and uh, someone told me if I should do another behind the if I do another behind the scenes or if I do another costume making I would try to vlog it. Well here you go. Now I finally was able to work on the shovel. This is how much I've got done with so far the backlighting. I, I just put a grip on there made of some nice leather that I had laying around. I just kind of took some strips and wrapped it around it is a bit fuzz. You can see that there's a, some white in there. That's because it's the bottom of the f uh, fabric. It's just f fuzz. But for the most part, I just took it, tightened it, and uh, rolled it up on top of this PVC pipe, which actually I spray painted with a base coat of black, matte black or gloss black, whatever. And then also uh, Dad did a little bit with some uh, bronze. Now I know it's supposed to be chrome, or not chrome, but brown. But the bronze was the only thing I had laying around, but it actually looks nice. It blends in with the black pretty well. So, and it gives it like a rusty sort of look, sort of like it was brand new, like you just bought it from the shop, you know. I was trying to get to as real as I can with this leather. I mean, it looks nice, not gonna lie. It's the first time I've ever done something leather grip-wise for a weapon, but I think it looks kind of nice. So, it came out really good. But, um, so that is what I have with the uh, shovel. I think the only thing left for me to do is to design the head, the head of the shovel, and also design the back, the back of the shovel, the grip that, that I'm seeing on the picture here. Um, yeah, so let's get down to measuring and uh, I'll guide you through it. Uh, I won't be able to like post exactly my measurements because uh, I, like I said, I do this all hands, uh, free-handedly based on pictures and images and all that stuff that I see online. Uh, so I just kind of go forth with what I can work with and what I can just come up with. Um, that's all I do when I make all these helmets and stuff here. Shovel Knight, Destiny Helmet, the Master Chief Helmet, which I still haven't finished, but it's it's still needs to be hardened. Um, you got the Warhead Helmet over here. Like, again, all these right here, all three of these are all cardboard. They might not look it. But yeah, it's all cardboard and the shovel knight costumes in the closet. By the way, I got a sweet ass gun rack. So I, now that I've, I know it looks kind of crappy, but now that I've put more stuff on the shelf here for more helmets, I don't know what to do with all these guns and all these weapons and stuff. So I just kind of found a place for them right on these lamp posts here. And it doesn't seem too bad. I mean, all I could do is just pull one out like this and it works. But that's not the project today. It's the shovel. So let's get back to the shovel, please. So we need to figure out the size of that. Um, from my experience, I think it looks about like it's a foot this way, like one foot in width, how wide it is. And then it kind of goes like this. So like probably from between these two eight pound weights, uh, dumbbells here to like this. I think that would be correct. And if I have to size it a little bit bigger, I can't, but I don't want it to be ginormous or anything. So I want it to be like uh, uh, like normal shovel size, but with some bulk on it. So I think if I free draw this, let me get a pencil. Yeah. So like right between those. Now I need to kind of draw some kind of design similar to us. Let's just go ahead and do that, I guess. See, I'm kind of messing up a little bit, but that's okay because again, I freehand it. So if, if one shape looks too narrow, I widen it. I thicken it up a little bit more. All right, so now that we have this, uh, usually you would draw the exact same thing on the other side. Well, some people can do that, but what I do is I would probably cut this out flip it and then trace it because that way you can get the same exact symmetrical uh, design. I've done this with a couple of projects and last time that I went over here and redrew the whole thing it wound, wound up looking lopsided which is really strange but you know if you draw it correctly on one side and flip it over the other side that should be how big and that's how uh, the rest of the design should be that way it's equal on both sides.
hell was that? Oh, my dude fell down. <laughs> All right, so I think that's pretty close. Uh, if I need to tweak it a little bit more, I'll put it on another piece of cardboard and I'll trim it down. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and then flip this to the other side. That way I can have both symmetrical sides. All right, so don't need that. So all we gotta do is just go ahead and cut this out. Yeah, okay, so the proportions are correct. I like that. Now, obviously I'm not gonna make this out of cardboard. I actually wanted to make it out of plywood. Some light, or some other light. What the heck? I didn't even realize that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna cut it out of cardboard because this paper is kind of flimsy. That way I have a design. And then we're gonna try to cut it out of plywood if we can. All right, there you go. Nice hard cardboard finish. I like that, I like the size of it, just big and bulky. That's all the idea I got in my head with the characters. Just big, bulky, sturdy armor. I mean, that's, that's one big shovel, that's for sure. So I think I like this. Moving on. So what we have our cutout of the shovel here, and all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and trace it on here, and then we're just going to cut it out. All right, people, so when you're using this bad boy, first thing you wanna know, that goggles or glasses, whatever you can get, and since I don't have a respirator, I use this scarf right here in my hand, my face. Uh, so, but it does get foggy, which is kind of annoying, but we're just gonna chop this up with this nice little hacksaw here, whatever the hell you call this thing. So make sure you're always wearing protection so you don't want to breathe in or get some crap in your eye because this stuff can go anywhere. that edge just a tiny bit. It's kind of derpy. Remember, when you're done with your meth, vacuum it. Alright, just doing a couple fitting tests. Uh, I went ahead and drilled some holes into the shovel there. You got, I don't know how far apart, uh, but I think about a couple inches in between each uh, hole. Uh, I got some on the other side as well. I got these brackets laying around. Uh, and I actually had to go get some screws from the store. So just kind of documenting that so that if you guys are interested in making your own shovel like this, so then here's the leather design. I took some normal leather and it just kind of wrapped it around the PVC pipe. You could use a metal pipe if you want to. It doesn't really, the price of a PVC pipe and a metal pipe is probably around the same thing, maybe a dollar more, you know, depending on how thick and how big you get it. Another update, uh, I went ahead and made these uh, square, nah, rectangle diamond pieces. Uh, and all this does is just, it kind of, let's see if I can get it out with one hand. It just kind of slips in to the pipe there. Because I made a, <clears throat> like a uh, panel design in there. I know it's a little lopsided at the moment. Oops, hang on. Try to get a good view of it. 
I know it's a little lopsided at the moment, but it's okay. Uh, I did the best I could of sanding it down. I save you the trouble of filming me sanding it all down, because you can see the edge here. Yeah, that's all. It's all been all sanded down the best as I could all around the shovel here. So, uh, I saved the trouble of filming all that because I knew that was going to be the most boring process of this thing. But I will actually uh, put in the description the uh, specs or drawings, or if you want to check out my Facebook page, uh, I'll have pictures of the sketches or maybe just this and I'll take a picture of it so that way you guys can measure it and if you guys want to make your own thing like this uh, you can use my references as best as you can uh, that way you can measure it up to scale so let's go back here for a bit so here's the wing now it's out of cardboard at the moment because I think that's the only way I can do this um, because I made a slit here I don't know if you can see it right there so I was gonna be able to slide a piece of plywood through it but I can't I'm afraid of breaking this because if I cut too deep or if I make it too big it's gonna crack the whole thing so I'm probably just gonna make it out of cardboard for the most part because I think that's the only thing I can do at the moment uh, but works I mean it's gonna be lightweight it's gonna be really easy to use uh, it's not gonna be anything too crazy or anything Alright, so while everything was being painted, I went ahead and designed the wing here. Uh, nothing really fancy about it, um, just like I said, I, I just freehanded the way it was kind of designed that, with some of the pictures that I saw. Um, I did kind of put my own thing into it based off of like a real, a real life two-handed weapon. So like I said, this whole thing is going to be, it's going to have some realistic parts to it and also a cartoonish look. Quick update, I actually went ahead and spray painted this wing and that looks awesome. I did the same technique as I did for the blade, for the head here. I put a base coat of a black on and then spray painted with some chrome, uh, chrome gold. So, and like the way I did it, ugh, like I said, I'll have the designs and pictures up popping up on the screen. So the way I did it is that there's an inner piece in here that I chopped up, slid it through this opening here and then designed this piece handmade or hand free handedly so that it lines up correct and this was just a random piece that I was just coming up with and I was like oh wow that works so now all I'm doing is just gluing it together and I'm just kind of boxing it out with some of these cardboard pieces they're really thin cardboard pieces so you can see a paper thin look it's off a cereal box <laughs> so I'm just kind of finishing up this open gap here just kind of hot gluing it at the moment and then that shovel head is done pretty much it does rick it still a little bit but that's because uh if i put some holes in here i'm afraid i'm gonna break the pipe but for the most part it's pretty stable it does creak whenever it goes this way instead of this way so like if you're chopping something for example if you're going this way with it it'll creak because the thing's kind of doing this but it's only going to be doing it barely but if you do it like this up and down or slice it this way it's not going to hurt it but that's the way you're supposed to chop you know, you're not supposed to chop, you don't chop something like this. That doesn't work. It's like cutting a knife. You know, you don't use a knife like this. Use a knife like that. So I just des uh, designed what I'm going to do with the shovel, the end hook here, or grip, whatever you want to call it. But the way I'm going to do it, since I can't figure out how to um, recreate this curve design, uh, I think I'm going to do like a slingshot Y design like this, and then just chop some of this excess pipe off and insert it like I did with the shovel down here. I just inserted that piece in. I'm gonna chop it down to this leather piece and, and all you're gonna see is probably just this.
right, so I'm just documenting this real quick. Uh, so the first one I cut out, which was this one, and I'm like, how the heck, nothing's gonna work. So I cut out a second one, and I'm gonna do two layers of this. It looks like a key piece design. So you can take a screenshot of that and uh, measure it up to your critique, however big your shovel is. But I'm gonna make two of these to give it some thickness to make sure it stays in the pipe. So two of these designs should do it instead of the this, because that idea didn't work for some reason. So let's do it. Alright, so I saved the trouble of recording myself sanding this thing because it literally took me about three hours. Three hours. So I think this, the purpose of this is just I gotta trim down the edges here a little bit so it can stick in the, the hole here. And the only thing left to do now is to just paint that brown like the rest of the shovel here. I don't think I'll put a leather strip on here. I was thinking about it, but you know what? I kind of like the grip. The wood grip feels really good. But yeah, all I did is just kind of take some 100 grit sandpaper and a couple of these square 100 grit sandpapers that I had. Um, just sand it down the edges as best as I could. And then I'm gonna paint it and we'll be done. So here's the rundown of what just happened around so basically I went ahead and painted this I get a base coat of black and then a brown that matched the same color that I did with the pole here uh, it is it is glued in uh, pretty well actually so I won't be able to break that off pretty easily but again I'm very I'm very careful with my equipment you know and my props so I take good care of this stuff too god that gold is gorgeous on that wing that reflection though. Like I said, you guys can take screenshots of this if you want to make your own project like this. It's a very cheap replica, but it's it's very low budgeted, very simple to make. A lot of fun too, crafting. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this, so I'm not saying that this was not worth my time. I'm saying that this thing was freaking badass. So you'll see that in the skit video that will be released soon. Like I, uh, I mentioned this on my other channel, I am going out of town next week, or this week. Um, so this is actually me now recording this and the, by the time you're seeing this video I'm already out of town uh, so uh, the skit should be uploaded by the week after that the week of the 19th that's probably when I'll be back depending on flight issues and you know all that stuff uh, but as soon as I get back on that Tuesday the 20th I'll start recording stuff and then I can start uh, editing the skit that I'm gonna have this awesome shovel in so stay tuned for that. If you haven't seen the vlog on the gaming channel, it's the same thing I'm saying. I'm going to Vegas. Uh, I have some videos pre-recorded uh, pre for the week that I'm gone. So you won't be missing out on anything. If you guys want to see more of this stuff, uh, like the next time I try to build a prop or a piece of armor or something, uh, let me know down in the description below. I'll be happy to record it. I think it's good for me because I don't document this stuff. I take pictures here and there, but I don't you know, document my progress of how I'm making it. And then I will look back on it myself and I'll be like, wow, it's, that's how I did it? Oh, okay, I can advance from that. Or it's because if I have an idea for another project, I have a different sort of technique to take towards it, you know? And uh, I'll give you a sneak peek of something else that I've done. Uh, and if you want to see pictures of it on Facebook, feel free to, you'll see this in the skit. Now you're probably wondering, what is this? Well, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. If you can just guess what this is, yes, it's a dagger, but it's, sure, it's just a cool dagger that I made. But you'll find out what it is in the skit video, keeping all y'all psyched up for what's going on. I did the best I could to carve the little things out here because with the saw that I had, I didn't really, I did the best I could, let's just say that. Because <laughs> um, it was really tight trying to get it off the board too, but I, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little clumsy here, but I don't know. I kind of like it because it's got like a stone looking look. <laughs> if that made sense. If you guys want to see more projects like this, uh, let me know down in the description below. And I'll see you goons later.